all of the advances that we've made through the years in cancer treatment have come from clinical research. We're really at an inflection point. We say we're coming from the dark ages to a period of light. We used to wonder if we could even keep patients alive. Now there's been so much focus on cancer vaccines, cancer prevention. In pediatric oncology, over 70% of the patients go on a clinical trial. It really has enabled us to advance the cures in those diseases. We're doing a study of aspirin right now, looking at its value in helping breast cancer survivors. That's a study that would have little interest in the pharmaceutical industry. NCI-funded research does look at that sort of thing. If it weren't for the federal government doing the funding, patients would not be surviving as well as they are today. The investments that we have made over several decades are just now beginning to bear fruit. Now is the time to invest more, not less. In 2008, we started to see reductions in NIH-funded research. And as a consequence of that, I've been seeing labs close. Not only does that affect us now, but it actually really impacts us a generation from now. The NCI-funded research helps to level the playing field, helps to assure that the latest innovations are available to people who need them, wherever they live, whatever their social circumstances. There isn't a single family in this country that isn't affected by cancer. We see a future where cancers can be prevented, and the technology now exists to achieve all of that. We just need greater research to help us understand how best to apply that technology to the benefit of the population we serve. Until we're curing every single patient with cancer, we have more work to do. My name is Raymond osaro -Giagmo. My name is Dr. Tara Henderson. My name is Dr. Alan Liss. My name is Dr. Judith Salmon-Cower and I live to conquer cancer.